Hey everyone, Shabby Amy here and welcome back to another video in our series showcasing some of the best young talent you can buy in a FIFA 19 Road to Glory career mode. So I just want to prefix this by saying that some of the players on my list might not be available on yours and again some of the players on your list might not be available on mine. So if I do miss anyone that you think is a realistic target of high potential for League 2 then please do drop them down in the comment section down below just to help myself and everyone else out. Right, let's get into our list. Now our list today... It's pretty good, it coincides, coincides. It has seven players, I'll try and use the real words, but all of them do have a potential of 80 plus. So it's a fantastic group of players we've got here. So the first player is Jordan Latomba. I think that's right. Two star skill moves, four star weak foot, which I think is very good because he can play both right back and left back. So very versatile. I think I'm gonna use him in my career mode as a left wing back mainly because of these pace stats. Look at that, 75 acceleration, 78 sprint speed, great agility and balance as well, and also pretty good jumping. So I think it'd be very, very useful and good stamina, which is important when you do play a wing back because they do get up and down that line a lot. I mean, look at these other stats as well. Nothing special there, to be honest with you, um, but a pretty solid player at 61 current ability with a potential of 80. Now, my scout believes that we can pick this guy up for anywhere between 540,000 and 780,000. However, if you utilize your trades well, you'll be able to get him a lot cheaper than that. So next up, we go down to Coventry's own Dujon Sterling. Right wing back, right back, and right midfield. Two star skill moves, three star weak foot. Um, can only play on that right hand side, and like Latombe, we can play on both, but I think he's going to be very, very good. I think I'll try and pick this guy up again for my career mode as the right wing back. If we look for his stats, decent again. Uh, not quite as fast as Latomba, actually, but... Still got some decent ability down that side. Uh, a bit more mixed on the final screen, as we can see. Good dribbling of 69, which would be pretty handy as a, a wing back. I think it'd be pretty useful. And again, my scout reckons this guy will be available for between 560 and 750,000 pounds. Again, with trades, that could be a hell of a lot cheaper. He is a current ability of 62 and a potential of 82. I forgot to say that, didn't I? Next up, we have got Jordan Bayer from Borussia Mönchengladbach. He is a current ability of 63, a potential ability of 80. Two-star skill moves, a three-star weak foot. Uh, pretty beastie. Looks like a good player. Again, a lot of, uh, of greens in there, especially his jumping on 83 is actually very, very good. And decent sprint speed and agility as well. Might be better suited maybe as a centre-back rather than a, white, uh, a right back. But he can play both of the positions. Going to his final screen. Yeah, standing tackle of 68, slide tackle of 66. I think he might be better suited to a, a centre-back's role. But if you are looking for someone to cover both positions, this could be your man. And again, my scout believes this player will be available. Well, actually, he's only available if you're willing to pay his 1.4 million release clause on my safer, which is a lot of money that I don't know if I would suggest unless you've done a financial takeover. Then he probably is worth it just for the cover. However, it would be worth putting him in your uh, shortlist just to see if that changes at any time it does sometimes change even by the end of this transfer window or maybe even in january so definitely keep an eye on him but i don't think he is your best option next we go down to look charel gertrude yeah i have no idea two star skill moves three star weak foot and can play right back and center back again so he can cover both positions and this man actually has a trait um, which I think is quite unique in a lot of these younger players. That trait is actually power header, which we'll have a better look at in a second. Uh, as you can see, decent stats, nothing special. Uh, does have some decent pace and again, pretty good jumping and high strength as well, which is pretty nice, which makes me feel like again that he might be better suited as a centre back. Get every look across these other stats. Standard tackle 64, marking 64. So pretty decent, but nothing special. And there is his trait, of course, as a power header. Now, again, our scout says that we would only be able to get him if we can pay his £1.4 million release clause, which, again, I think is too much in League 2 unless you're really desperate to get a hold of this guy. However, if you have done the financial takeover, he's definitely going to be available. And, again, just put him in your shortlist and just see if that changes throughout the next couple of months. It's, it has done for me in the past, and it, it possibly could do for you as well. So next we go down to Max Ahrens from Norwich. Again, a player who can play right back and left back. Three star skill moves, three star weak foot. Decent enough stats as you can see there. We'll go across to the big one, of course, his pace. 84 acceleration, 79 sprint speed, 80 agility, 83 balance. 
a great player to have out wide once again and he, he could fight for me against Sterling potentially for that position at right wing back in my career mode anyway. We go across again some pretty decent stats nothing amazing that stands out but a pretty useful player and our scout says we can have him between 870,000 and 1.2 million but again if you utilize your trades well you can really get that down I mean really down if you trade a player that's worth six seven hundred K all of a sudden you're paying one or two hundred K for this guy which is definitely possible and we have tried it and done it in the past so I feel for me this is a really good signing Max Aaron's and 64 current ability with a potential of 81 I think he's gonna be pretty useful so next we make our way down to Reese James now this is an exciting player three star skill moves two star weak foot again can play right back or center back uh, I think I prefer him as a center back but he can do the right back role as we look for his stats he's pretty decent in everything he's like a jack of all trades master of none um, 65 current rating and he does have a potential of 84 which is the highest on our list here today a very very good player and our scout says between 1.05 and 1.4 million now my friend PJ Toby has been playing FIFA 19 today and he managed to get this guy for 750,000 pounds cash no trades that is a really good offer a really good deal for a player that's 65 rated now so quite easily fit into most league two teams and an 84 potential means to be quite at home in the top of the Premiership when he hits his full potential. So definitely a very, very good signing if you can get a hold of this guy. And last up on our list is going to be James Bree. A player who was pretty good on last year's FIFA as well and he's still pretty good this year. I don't think his potential is quite as high. He's got an overall currently of 65, a potential of 80. So still pretty useful. His stats are... Again, pretty much the same as James, sort of jack of all trades, master of none. Everything in there is orange on the brink of green. And if you go into here again, everything's pretty level. The stats that you'd want to have him stats in are the ones that he's got them in. So he's a pretty useful player. If we hop over to the scout, he will tell us that between 1.15 million and 1.5 million. But again, if you utilize your trades well, you'll get this guy for a hell of a lot cheaper. Do I suggest him? He's good, but I do feel like there's better alternatives out there. But if you're really desperate to get the higher overall right now, then he's probably one of the best options you can get. Now, me personally, in my career mode, I'll be looking to try and sign Reese James as a centre-back. I'll be looking to try and sign Aarons, Sterling and Latomba. And uh, Latomba and Aarons can fight over the left-back and Dujon can play the right-back. And they can all sort of share the secondary role in that right-back position as well. So a lot of good players in this list. A lot of players that I really think are going to be a mainstay in most people's road to glory careers. So of course, if you want to see some of these players in action, then please do check out the career mode we are currently doing on the channel as MK Dons. We are doing road to glory and we are going to take over the world. Of course, if you enjoyed this video, please do hit a like and of course subscribe if you would like to see some more of these videos or also like to check out our career mode as well. I've been Chabby Gamer, thank you much for watching and I'll see you very, very soon for our next video in the series of Young Stars for Road to Glory Career Modes. Bye.